this is a very special place because my friend Tamara is the um, marketing director. And so that changes the whole thing. Okay. It's a, a juxtaposition of blues and classical uh, that uh, utilizes th sort of the uplifting qualities of classical music and the the expressive, special expressive and emotional and performance qualities of, of blues. And it juxtaposes this. It doesn't blend them so much to create a new form. It, both forms are sort of existing simultaneously. And uh, it creates a unique experience. And it involves string quartet, classical string quartet, East Indian tabla, and blues harmonica and blues piano, and sometimes vocals. We have played in Breckenridge before. It was a while back. I don't remember exactly when. I don't exactly remember when, but uh, things started looking real familiar. I know that Breckenridge uh, was a familiar name to me. You know, we just play a lot of places, and, and years go by, and you forget and stuff. But not too too many years ago, we did we played in this very very room at one point. I just don't remember. It was during the winter, though. Kind of a, a blending of uh, we have acoustic instruments. That, uh, and, we, and uh, it starts out with a kind of a folk music sound and, and added with a, a jazz uh, beat and uh, solos and singing. We have the two girls that sing and a jazz violin and, and all that. So it's, uh, it's kind of a light uh, in, in, uh, in nature and uh, it's not loud. And it's sort of, uh, in a way, kind of carefree. And most of the songs are not, I wouldn't say go to say funny, but they're kind of maybe a little humorous, and uh, it's it's we're all like jazz, so we we like to play in a jazzy way with a swing sound, you know. So I call it folk swing, and and there's a lot of original tunes that I've been writing through the years, so that has a you know its personal touch on it. <laughs> 